Hello and welcome back to Talk of the Twin Cities. I'm Mark Oyas and I'm really excited about this little segment you're going to see today. We have with us Leah Wong from the Minneapolis Downtown Council and she's going to tell us what's happening downtown this holiday season. Leah, thanks for coming down to tell us about it. You, know, you know, it was it's funny the coincidence of life. Uh, my twenty something kids just called this weekend and said, When are we getting together? What's what's the family deal for holidays? Are we gonna go down to the parade? And I said, Well, we're going down. We're going down more than once, but I'll tell you something, it's changed. And so what let's start with that. What's changed about holidays, Leah? Well, we are very excited about the changes uh, this year. This year we'll be having the Holodazzle Village featuring the Minneapolis Holiday Market. And so the parade that people are used to seeing, um, we have kind of a new twist on that. And we'll be activating two blocks of Nicollet Mall with the Holodazzle Village. So people will see lots of exciting things, everything from reindeer to musical entertainment. And then our cornerstone feature this year is the Minneapolis Holiday Market. And it will be a 27 day uh, market that's in the heart of downtown. And so we've really moved away from kind of that experience that's more passive where you come down and watch and um, to one that's very participatory and interactive. And we really want to help um, your viewers kind of understand how they can package so many things when they come to explore all that downtown Minneapolis has to offer. We think of Christmas markets, you think about the, the great cities of Europe always have a traditional market. Yeah. Is, this, is it sort of that theme or that setting that yeah. we're going to be seeing? Absolutely. So um, the feature of the Holodazzle Village this year is the Minneapolis Holiday Market. And our holiday market will be a traditional open air European style market. Oh, okay. So it will have that kind of meandering, wandering feel. It's situated at PV Plaza and 11th and Nicollet Mall and um, we'll have over 30 huts that are featured as part of that market and they're your typical wooden constructed huts um, and they'll be filled with lots of sights, sounds and smells. Um, everything from, we'll have a mix of both local and international vendors that will be selling everything from ornaments to handmade wooden gifts to candles and soap, lots of variety there um, and then of course lots of tasty treats. Well, it's, you know, the parade, it, it, it has been fun f over the years to come down, but it, it's uh, sort of anticlimactic when you just get in the car and go home, you know, or whatever. You know, yeah. you may stop and have dinner, but this is, uh, people can do some gifts, some shopping, special things, and uh, w what are the hours? How, how, uh, how late does it run in the evening, and what, e what days yeah. are you going to run it? Absolutely. So we are running now through December 24th and the Minneapolis Holiday Market is open from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. every day and then we'll have additional activations on the weekends um, from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. along 12th to 10th on Nicollet Mall. So lots to come and see and do anytime. Um, we're really hoping that in addition to the families that Holodazzle um, we hope will continue to draw that we'll also be able to uh, draw in downtown employees and residents, um, visitors from the five state area. So really something for everyone to see and do as part of this new how it's cool great. is that that you're actually starting it during the day so you can wander down you know we the downtown denizens all love the farmers market on thursdays right. because it gets you out of the office so this is the same kind of thing if you have to buy something for a special somebody at work or yeah. at home you can do do some special shopping during the day absolutely and also a great place to go and have lunch um, that's one of the oh, things there will i be food, am really huh? excited about and so we'll have a lot of food down there um, everything from your traditional uh, glue vine which is the mold wine um, as well as sausage, no market would be complete without that. Um, we'll have potato pancakes and roasted nuts, um, soups and kind of German candy. So lots of opportunities for people to come down and kind of taste their way through the market. Yeah, I caught a word you used, uh, you're activating some other blocks. What what does activating we mean? sure are. So on the weekends, we are taking um, the blocks of 12th to 10th along Nicollet Mall, and we are doing lots of activations or programming along those blocks. And so we have a reindeer barn that's been constructed. Um, we've had just a great team of partners um, and volunteers with uh, Nelson and Rip Bang Design, Ryan, um, and the Minneapolis Building Construction Trades Council, and IATSE helping us to really build out the, that two block stretch. So it's got a reindeer barn, which will feature on the weekends, live reindeer. So come see Donner and Blitzen. Um, we have a, a Holodazzle stage that will feature um, two story times. Uh, we'll have the Velveteen Rabbit and the Nutcracker, and those story times will come to life through dance. So we're super excited about those. We also have Santa's workshop. Um, we'll have one of our old uh, Holodazzle floats out there that people can do photo opportunities with. 
our beloved XL Energy light bulbs will be out on the streets. Oh, oh, great. So we'll have a lot of fun things for people to really come down, musical entertainment to listen to, um, and then we'll have a different special event every weekend. What kind of special events can we look forward to? What? Yeah, uh, so our opening weekend on that Friday we'll have fireworks. Okay. We will have, um, we'll also do one weekend, we'll do interactive glass blowing demonstrations where we've partnered with uh, FOSI and they'll be coming down to do those. We also have dog sledding um, that will be done and so we'll have huskies out doing dog sledding um, our third weekend and then our final weekend, um, US Bank will be helping us to do a pop-up ice rink. And so we'll have skating with complimentary skate rental uh, running right on Nicollet Mall in the heart of downtown Minneapolis. Oh, oh that, that'll be fun. Well, how about the buses? Are they going to pull off the yeah. pull off the mall during the weekends? Then, so, or? yep, the, uh, the mall, those two blocks of the mall will okay. be closed during the weekends. But speaking of the buses, one of the things we're really excited about is Metro Transit um, has partnered with us to do free rides to the Holodazzle Village featuring the Minneapolis Holiday Market every Saturday from 2 p.m. to 9 p.m. Oh, terrific. So, yeah, it's a great way to come down. You don't have to worry about um, a vehicle. You just come on down, ride the bus, and it will take you right to Holodazzle, which will be great. My friends who live a a little further out when there's like St. Patrick's Day, you know, my yeah. friends, you know, yeah. they take advantage of that. And usually they park a little bit onto the periphery and then catch the bus so they don't right. have to worry about finding an express bus all the yeah. way down. They just get on the bus and come on in. Yeah. Uh, what other things for the kids? I mean, just yeah, story time will be great for the kids. Of course, the reindeer. Um, one of the things that's very exciting is inside the market will have a carousel. So there'll be an opportunity for people to come down and take this magical ride right in the heart of downtown. Um, um, on a carousel this holiday season, so that's something we think oh, the kids will love. Will that be heated, or it will just be out? You know, out there? we are embracing winter. That's Good. one of the things yeah. we know as Minnesotans that we're hardy, and so we're going to really embrace winter. And this whole experience is pretty much outdoors, but it will give um, the visitors who come down an opportunity to check out some of the local establishments, um, to maybe grab some food. Um, maybe they'll make a weekend of it and stay in a hotel. Um, so there sure. will be, you know, opportunities to kind of package this into more that downtown has to offer and then we do have um, one heated uh, tent at the market that people can enjoy as well to kind of warm up a little bit as they are enjoying their day. There's nothing like uh, bustling around with little kids in snowsuits and have to pull them on, <laughs> pull them up. This will be fun and a, a, a great new tradition for downtown. Sure will. Uh, uh, and will you run it? How far into the uh, t to the end of the month will it run? It will run till December twenty fourth. Okay. And so um, the holiday market is open every day from eleven a.m. to nine p.m. And then uh, additional activations on the weekends from three to eight. But the schedule really does change every day, which is one of the great things about this new Holodazzle. So we encourage your viewers to check out holodazzle.com and follow us on Facebook and Twitter for more information. Leah Wong. Minneapolis Downtown Council, thanks for all the hard work putting this together. Thank you, Thank you for creating a new tradition for, for Twin Cities and Minnesota fa families from all over Minnesota to come and see and enjoy. It's really special. We're very glad you could be here today. Thanks for having me. And speaking Excited. of special, I'm going to take just a little moment here and uh, and wish the very best to a very good friend of mine, Gay Jacobson, who's been the heart and soul of this operation since its inception back in 1987. All the programming that you get to see from Polka Time to Viva and Jerry to Sunday Night Mass from St. Olaf, all of that is due to Gay's hard work and integrity in running this operation. She's been both the sail and the rudder of this ship, and I can't uh, say enough about the fact that she's built this uh, Twin Cities uh, cable network into something very special that comes into your home. Gay, thank you for sharing yourself and your professional self with, and as well as your personal self. Love you, kid, and wish you nothing but the best. Thanks.